welcome everyone to explore your force field and we're going to be looking at this visual of your human design chart to help you discover what makes you stand out so that image that i showed you on the first slide comes from the 64 key software and um, that is available at 64keys.com i am not an affiliate they do not pay me money i tried to get them to <laughs> to start an affiliate program because I love their software, but you can go and check it out. And I think you get like two months free if you want to go in there and play around and, and see what the differences are in the way that they talk about human design. What they have done at 64keys.com is they have created software. They've created a report called the Genius Report, which is tailored to people who have not heard of human design, who may not be interested, but they're interested in understanding how they can best use their energy so that they can get the most out of their career and the most out of their business if they're self-employed. And it's just an incredible different way of seeing yourself. And these people started out with traditional human design and then saw this need to really tailor some of the uh, perspective of the human design chart to people who are in the business world who maybe need a different kind of languaging to kind of get it. So I found this very, very helpful for myself because a lot of things have slid into place since I've taken the Genius Report coaching training have slid into place for me. And I'm just excited to share this image with you because I found that the more that I stared at it for myself, the more I, I sort of got imprinted with some nonverbal understanding about what I'm really about, what I have to offer. And I want to kind of pass that on and share that with you. So this is what we're going to be looking at alongside your human design chart. And if you really look at these uh, descriptions around the circle here, you'll understand that these descriptions on the outside are the energy centers. So we're looking from root to throat going up the right side of the chart with all of the motorized centers. Uh, moving up to the throat for manifestation. And then on the left side of the chart, we're looking at actually, or the left side of this chart, we're looking actually at the non-motorized centers moving up for expression to the throat. So what we're going to be looking at are these aspects that kind of push out, I call them outies as a nickname, you know, innies and outies, like the belly button kind of a thing. But these are really, these areas that are in yellow that push out on your chart are your defined channels, are where you have definition. And in this uh, 64 Keys Genius uh, software, they call these the effectual energies that you have, what kind of an effect you have on others, how you influence others. So we're going to be looking at that. And we're also going to be looking at your perceptual areas which are in blue and are closer into the center and they placed you in the center of this um, and this is where you have those open or undefined centers and of course that's where you are influenced by others so this is where you're designed to be perceptive and to take in influences from the outside uh, and both of the effectual and perceptual kind of come together to really show you at a core level how you take things in and what you put out. The input that uh, you're here to really take in and understand at a very deep level and then the output of who you are that you're putting out into the world, what your energy is about that you're putting out through your energy field. So here is this diagram again with the energy centers kind of outlined. The root is the stress and drive mode, the drive and stress mode, the sacral is the life force energy, life force and activity, solar plexus is feelings and emotions, will center is willpower and assertion, and then the throat is at the top. All of these centers lead to the manifestation aspect of the throat. And then uh, coming up the left side, there's the spleen, which is body awareness, intuitive body awareness, the G center, which is design and orientation, 
Head Center, which is mental inspiration, Ajna, which is concepts and ideas that lead up to the throat for the expression aspect of the throat center. On the left side, because these are non-motorized centers, uh, they're calling these steering qualities, these qualities that you have to steer others by this energy that you put out into the world through your definition. And then on the right side, we've got action qualities that are driven by the motors that you have that are leading or perhaps contributing to manifestation if, if there's actually a connection to the throat. So we're going to be looking at the round aspect of your chart or the way that it's portrayed here. First, from almost like a Rorschach test kind of a feel. And, and this is just me being totally abstract with my 6447 channel of abstraction. We're going to look at like your first impressions of your force field image. And this could just sort of give you just a a different view of what is happening with your energy that is portrayed in your chart. And for me, and for a lot of people, you start to see like little images in this whole force field that may or may not resonate. So, but we're going to start there. And then we're going to look at the effectual and perceptual aspects and how they function, the innies and the outies. And we're just going to work with this in a way where it gives you a different feel for what you're taking in and what you're putting out. Uh, and then we're going to go a little bit deeper into the effectual, the outies, or the channel qualities that you have. And I'm going to talk about specifically the way that they describe your specific channels. And we're going to look at the steering and the action side, if, if you have both. And then all of this is going to kind of come together to help you with the beginnings of a present statement. So what I mean by a present statement is like when you're just being who you are, when you're like living on your chart, being authentic, this is how you do what you do when you're being who you are. So it's really basically what you're radiating that's a true frequency and expression of your design through just your mere presence. So from there, I just want to talk a little bit about what I'm leading into with this whole thing. And I will definitely make sure that you get a link to kind of read about this Activate Your Genius in Career and Business course that's in the formulation stages right now. But this force field here comes with, and you can get this if you sign up for the free two-month trial, you can get the mini compact genius report here. And what I thought would be fun as a, a follow-on for this particular mini workshop is for those who are interested in really fleshing out your present statement and really understanding what you have to offer. A little bit longer workshop where we can go into this compact version of your Genius Report so that you can formulate a clear statement that encapsulates how you're designed to impact others. And this is so important when you're doing a sales page or when you're working on a resume or when you're looking for a new position and you want to really clearly talk about what it is that you have to offer. Now there's another piece of this report that I've found so helpful and that is your talent profile and this is a, a great place to begin to explore what your core talent is and how you can begin to develop it and this is actually an aspect of design that sort of flows over into the gene keys and, and understanding what your core wound is and, and how you heal from that when you heal what you came in to heal as your core wound your talent naturally develops. So uh, that's what we would be getting into with the Activate Your Genius in Career and Business course. When I send you your recording, I'll also send you the link to the page for that so that you can read about it. And if you're interested, just get on the waiting list. I'm a projector, so I'm just waiting for that saturation of energy to pull me forward with that. So if you're at all interested, just get on the list um, and then we'll just go from there.